I'm gonna do another comparison of another Metallica album, and that is the self-titled album, also known as the Black Album. Uh, the record is a 1991 Vertigo Swirl. Uh, I think it's yeah, two LPs. Uh, this was the standard uh, standard for the album at that time, two LPs. Uh, this came all the way from Germany. Ordered it online, I think sometime last year. Or so, but it sounds great for its age, and the jacket's probably seen better days. But I'm gonna keep it anyways. Um, then the CD you have the 1995 Electra Remaster, one CD of course, just original album tracks. And this is the version that I've had for many years now, and unfortunately I lost the CD. I put it in with another CD, and I've actually searched for it and have not been able to locate it. So uh, I'll probably track down an, an original 1991 US CD pressing, probably to replace it, or get the Super Deluxe box set of the Black Album when it comes out. There's still no uh, release date set as of me making this video. So yeah, I mean, landmark album here. You know, you have all the hit tracks: "Inner Sandman," "Sad but True," "The Unforgiven," "Wherever I May Roam," "Don't Shred on Me," "Through the Never," "Nothing Else Matters," "Wolf of Man," "The God That Failed," "My Friend of Misery," and "The Struggle Within." A lot of these songs have seen airplay on the radio. I think probably every single song off this album at one time has seen radio play, especially "Inner Sandman," "Sad but True," "Nothing Else Matters," and "The Unforgiven." <coughs> Um, in comparing the two, I mean, they both have very similar sound, that great hard drive and just metal awesomeness that is Metallica. Um, that was not lost on this 1995 CD remaster. It does sound pretty good. Uh, I'd say it doesn't, it does have a digital, um, that digital sound to it to where it does, it's kind of, the highs are somewhat rolled off some might say I mean it it, uh, it doesn't sound as organic as the uh, as the record the record has everything that this this CD does not I've not heard the original 1991 CD pressing of this <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that friend of mine that introduced me to the band uh, Oh, that's that's interesting. Well, I guess I'll compare the packaging too. I failed to do that last time on another video, or I kind of did, yeah. Um, but yeah, really cool here. Track listing. You have the huge snake here. The, uh, um, but on the CD version, you get the Metallica logo in between the snake here. It's still present here. It's kind of hard to see on these releases. The camera doesn't pick it up very well. But yeah, I mean, this was their one of their most popular albums. Even my parents remember when this came out. So that says a lot. And they're not they're not Metallica fans. My mother will listen to like stuff off Ride the Lightning, and some stuff off this album. I was did play her the elevator version of Nothing Else Matters years ago, probably in two thousand eight or nine, one night in the living room. So, um, but yeah, this this just packs a punch. This version. It sounds so live, so crisp, so everything is very defined. Uh, you're going to hear things in the music that you probably didn't hear in the CD versions. Uh, there's also a 5.1 ver uh, mix of this album, but it was not done very well. It's highly compressed, so that is a shame. Maybe they'll fix that with the <clears throat> with the Super Deluxe box set. Maybe that will be released that way. It's going to be very interesting to hear excuse me, the rough mixes <clears throat> of these songs if they are going to be included in the Super Deluxe box set. Um, but yeah, in hearing this version now and hearing like Sad But True on the I think it's the Nothing Else Matters single no, the Sad But True single, that does have some analog qualities on that CD of that song. And all the tracks on that CD sound great, including the Sabbath True. You can tell it was taken from a, a an analog master and converted to digital. 
but it still retains the analog quality and it's great. This does not, um, it's kind of hard to compare these two because it's like comparing apples and oranges, so it's tough. Um, I mean, you still have that great uh, studio feel like the band is, you know, kind of in the room with you uh, a little bit. But when compared to this, I mean, it's just, it's just night and day. I mean, I mean, it's not a huge difference to where you're going to listen to one over the other. I mean, CDs are great for convenience. I know I've said that before. Um, but with vinyl, you get better sound, probably a better, you know, better artwork, more clear artwork. Even the inserts are clear. And if it comes with a booklet, that's going to look a lot better too, you know. So, <clears throat> which one would I buy? I mean, I bought both, so I can't really say which one would I buy. I mean, I, I listened to the 1995 CD for many years. This is still available. It's uh, it's probably going to cost you more now since it's not sold in the big box stores anymore. You're going to find the Black and Recordings version of all the classic Metallica albums. Those are cheaper. And um, they're probably going to sound identical to the 1995 Elektra uh, remasters. I mean, it's going to probably be, just be the same digital file that they used back then. Uh, just by Metallica's recording company this time around, not by Elektra. Um, so all in all, which one would I buy? I mean, I'd buy both if you can. Or buy the Black and Recordings CD edition. Uh, possibly buy the Super Deluxe box set if that's your thing, if you're into box sets. I'm not big into huge box sets anymore, however, this is a great album, it was a great tour for the band from like 91 to 93, they put on some amazing shows, one in Moscow, uh, San Diego in 92, and um, I think there was a, uh, there's another show, I forget what it was, uh, but yeah. So there you go, guys. There's my comparison. Hopefully I did a good job this time. I'm not all that great at comparisons. Uh, and hopefully they released a cassette of this album, a remastered cassette. I'll buy that too. So there you go. That's my comparison. Thank you very much for watching.